John. <laughs> Don't let them disappear. 12 endangered species across the globe. So uh, Don't Let Them Disappear really kind of grew out of two things. One, when I was working on Start Now, my last book uh, for young activists age 6 to 10, one of the things I heard over and over again from kids that I interviewed for the book and then out of my book tour was how much kids love and care about animals and they want to protect animals in their local communities, everything from taking care of their own pets to supporting local shelters, and they really wanted to know what they could do to help protect endangered species around the world. And so I wrote a little bit about that in Start Now, and yet I was so struck by how just passionate kids were and how passionate particularly young kids were. And kind of that, and also kind of secondly, because I wish I'd had this book when I was a kid, um, really compelled me to, to write Don't Let Them Disappear. And I'm so thankful that I got to work with the extraordinarily talented uh, Gianna, the illustrator, to be able to bring this book to life. It's just been so much fun kind of to hear what factoids kids really like, like, oh, wow, sea otters wash their paws after every meal. Or, you know, I'm a good athlete just like a tiger. And also to hear their candid feedback, like, you know, they liked the animals that I included, but why didn't I include cheetahs? Or the little boy who wanted to know, like, if I would next write about his frog. And I told him, like, he probably knew about his frog more than I did. So he hopefully will write the book about his frog. So it sparked, like, such terrific conversations. Um, and such fun feedback, uh, and yet the best part of the tour so far is when kids tell me what they're already doing uh, to support kind of conservation organizations, or what they're already doing to fight global warming, or to recycle, and also now what they're planning on doing, uh, because they feel like now they know more about what they can do, uh, which is one of the reasons I wrote the book. Their skin is black. Polar bears have good eyesight to help distinguish different shades of white on the ice and can smell seals up to 20 miles away. 